The ancient Zulu town was agog, this time not for the popular traditional festival but the matriculation of the first set of 500 students admitted, an investiture of the pioneer chancellor of the newly established Federal University of Agriculture, Zulu Kebi State. The mission of the university is to be an institutional player in the prototypical agricultural skills acquisition and entrepreneurship preoccupied with the task of strengthening human and livestock health for effective development of agriculture in the country, in tune with the national drive for food security and sufficiency. Governor Abubakar Atikubagudu at the event said the university was created at a time when Kebi State became more notable for its agricultural potential and contribution to the national food Food security, expressing optimism that the institution will grow to become a great international center of learning. And invite the very best brands that will make university, this university uh, competitive, that make this university a center of learning, center of entrepreneurship, center of growth for the agricultural sector that we will all be proud of. The pioneer VC, Professor Musa Isiaku Ahmad, was specific that the institution shall not only serve as an academic environment, but also a place where character is impacted on students. Count yourself lucky, therefore, that you are also a pioneer student of this great institution. You are expected to lead exemplary lives and serve as role models to those who will come after you. Other speakers at the History Epoch making event, the likes of Senator Bala Ibn Allah, the Emir of Zuru, Muhammad Sani Sami, and the University Chancellor, in separate remarks, felicitated with the matriculated students, charging them to shun all manners of malpractice. Highlight of the event was the pronouncement of the purpose of the matriculation by the Registrar Abdulaziz Yusuf Bazata, administration of oath to the matriculating students, and their presentation by the various deans of the faculties. Suman Abdullahi Shehu, NTA News.